Genius Supplies. What's up, Spikes? I'm here, Spike Peters HQ. Uh, we're playing some pre-cons today. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool one. This is officially sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. As you know, we are MTG ambassadors, and that means that we sometimes get access to products a little bit ahead of time. That's gonna allow us today to play Wilds of Eldraine pre-constructed Commander decks. Um, this should be the first look. I think we're probably gonna be the first ones out there with the gameplay, which is really cool. We love doing this for you. Uh, so we're gonna, there's only two Wilds of Eldraine Commander decks. So today, Aaron and I are gonna be playing March of the Machines Commander decks and playing them against Bill and Elliot playing the Wilds of Eldraine Commander decks. Uh, so a little bit of a, a, a battle, a standard <laughs> set battle here. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, you know, you at home, Put it in the comments. Which set of decks is better uh, when you find out? Make a prediction mm -hmm. before you see the results of this episode. I'm going to hold you to this. <laughs> Honor system. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get right into it. Today I am playing Kazla the Broken Halo. This is a Jeskai Angel deck, but plays around a lot with Convoke. So watch for stuff that maybe taps and act, taps and triggers things. Lots of stuff that just makes tokens so that I can Convoke stuff out. Yeah, hey, Marin. I'm playing Brimaz Blight of Arescos. Uh, the Frixians were a big problem in March Machine, from what I understand, and Brimaz uh, is a great payoff for playing those and other artifact creatures. So I'm trying to incubate as many times as possible, as often as possible. <laughs> I am Bill, from the Spike Feeders. Um, today I'm going to be playing uh, yeah. one of the two uh, new Th Wilds of Eldraine decks, uh, and so, of course, because I'm so up on uh, the most popular and new uh, Magic the Gathering cards, I know exactly what all these cards do. Uh, I'm playing Elevir of the Wild Court, uh, which uses a new mechanic called Rolls, and that's R-O-L-E, and not R-O-L-L. -L. Mm -hmm. uh, they are a new type of basically like ability counter adjacent thing. You'll see more, um, the, the deck seeks to do it pretty frequently. It also makes a lot of Ox, from what I'm, I'm told. Oxen. 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 Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's it's enchantments, it's uh, tokens, it's a very Selesnia type strategy. Um, awesome. So I'm I'm hoping to be able to to show that and and beat some people with some uh, with some beasts of burden, but probably not that actual card because that card's old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'm Elliot. I'm going last in turn order. You guessed it. It's a Spike Feeders video, baby. Uh, and I'm playing the other Wilds of Eldraine deck. I've got Tegwill, Duke of Splendor. Uh, this is just a Dimir Fairies deck. Uh, this is a, a fairy noble. It gives my fairies uh, plus one, plus one. It uh, lets me draw cards when they uh, uh, die. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play blue fairies. I'm going to play black fairies. I'm going to make blue and or black or blue black fairy tokens. And I'm going to go whoosh and hope that the oxen don't learn how to fly. <laughs> so how many colors? Which colors? <laughs> Two. Blue. Which ones? <laughs> yeah. Black. Right, right, okay. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating. <laughs> well, I won the die roll, so I'm gonna kick us off. I'll draw a card. I'm gonna play a Plains, and I will pass the turn. Perfect. I'm gonna draw a play a Swamp, and I will also pass the turn. Exceptional. I will draw, and I will play a Castle Arden Vale. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes into play tapped because I do not control another Plains, and I'll pass the turn over to you. There you go. Uh, I'll draw for my turn. I've got, I think, the strongest turn one play here. Uh, I'm going to play this Path of Ancestry. Uh, so this is going to, when it, un it ETB's tapped, but when it untaps, I'm going to be able to add blue or black. And then when I use it to cast a fairy, I'm going to get to scry one. Oh. Yeah, really strong. Go both, ahead. both Wilds of Eldraine decks using 100% of their available mana on turn one. <laughs> 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 I will draw a card. I'm going to play a Plains, and I will pass. Cool. I'll draw. I'll also play a Plains, but I get to also play an Arcane Signet. Oh, Ooh. he's popping off. Knee. He's the target. Go ahead. I'll untap this Castle Ardenvale and draw another card, which is probably not going to be a second Castle Ardenvale. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to play this Forest, and uh, I'll just be shipping the turn over to Elliot. Alrighty, I'll untap. I'll draw for my turn. I've got a basic island. And yeah, I'll do the thing that I said I was going to. Blue, blue. Night Veil Sprite. Uh, this is just a two mana one two flyer. When it attacks, surveil one. And because I used the mana from Path of Ancestry and this shares a creature type with my commander, I'm going to scry one. Night Veil Sprite Veil. Night Veil Sp Sprite <laughs> Sprite Veil Night. <laughs> I'm going to leave this card on top and I'm going to pass the turn. Daring. Cool. <laughs> I will draw a card. I'm going to play an island and cast March of the Machines staple 
arcane signal. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass. Yeah, it was actually new from that uh, it was. set. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Draw card. Play another swamp. Oh, we're playing Brimas. King uh, Blade of the Urescos, no longer the King of the Urescos. King uh, of Blades. King um, of Blades. And we're gonna pass the turn. Alrighty. Let's draw a card here. I think what I'm gonna start with though, I'm gonna play this other forest, and I will slam down this Enchantress's presence. Ooh, good uh, one. So whenever yeah. I cast an enchantment spell, I draw a card. It doesn't count itself, but I will pass the turn to you. Alrighty. I'll untap. I will draw this card that I uh, scryed there earlier. I will play a basic swamp, and I'm gonna cast my commander, Tegwill, Duke of Splendor. So again, this is three mana, uh, two, three flying death touch. Other fairies I control get plus one, plus one, and whenever another fairy I control dies, draw a card and lose a life. We'll head on down to combat. Eeny, meeny, miny, Aaron. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> on attack. Trigger. On attack. Uh, yeah, I surveil, so I'm gonna look at the top card. Mm. Ooh, Temple of the False God can get its face <laughs> out of here. And it's uh, for two? It is for two yeah, right. because of my Lord Commander. Fall to 38. I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap, draw a card. I'm going to play a Frost Boil Snarl, <laughs> uh, revealing this island so it comes into play. Which number untapped. is that? Sorry. Uh, it is. Sorry, the number of the island. The number of the island? I need to know for my notes. It's uh, <laughs> uh, March the Machine 278. 278, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, that's by <laughs> Sam Burley. Yeah, perfect. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote it down. That's derived information, baby. It is. You have to reveal it. You want to give it away for free? True. <laughs> Man, Aaron and Elliot both cast their commander this turn, and yeah. mine costs six mana. It has Convoke, though. Yeah, it, it does have convoke, convoke, but I have to cast a creature. Uh, Sounds like a... You should play Memnite. <laughs> cast oh, <laughs> cast Memnite Slam signatures. Commander. <laughs> I know. Easy. Well, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tap two and cast Cloud of Fairies. It'll enter. I'm gonna untap two lands. Talk, this is what we just talked about. And then I'm gonna cast my commander. Oh, I'm like, I'm God, like, cast I don't have enough mana. <laughs> Whenever I cast another spell that has convoke, scry two, then draw a card. What's it up? also has flying vigilance and haste. Yeah, that's a lot a of triple keywords. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ellie's got a flying death touch blocker, so I'm gonna move to combat, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna rumble towards Bill. What? Ooh. Five damage, please. Five? That's commander damage, oh, baby. Oh I'm not tracking that, so you better track that. Uh, Elliot, can you please track that? <laughs> Elliot's our producer, so. <laughs> I will pass the turn. All right. On tap. Draw. Oh, I love this card. I'm going to play a, another swamp. Oh, I'm also a fan of basic swamp. Huge what, fan. What, uh, <laughs> uh, collector number 279, also drawn by Sam Burley. Perfect. Ooh. Um, I'm going to play a Hedron Archive. Good one. Just ramp in here and play the card that I'm excited I drew. Frixian Rager. Oh, it's a nice no. apocalypse classic. Mm, so when I cast it, I'm going to incubate for three. Yeah, some of that. And when it comes into play, I will lose a life, going to 37, and I'm going to draw a card. Yeah, they got him on the ropes. <laughs> and then Death Touch 3 4. As a 5 4. <laughs> Me? Get a blocker, dude. Oh. <laughs> Bill has five Kazla and three Brimaz damage. Yeah, I'm you uh, please each individually it. track that. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Well, it's out. <laughs> if I attack him on my turn, he'll have all three types of commander damage. You're a you're a collector of this, sorts, right? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> uh, welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna play a forest, and uh, I'm the only one who doesn't have my commander, so I might as well cast her. Smart. Uh, so I'm gonna play Elevir of the Wild Court. She's a four mana four four. When she enters the battlefield or attacks, I create a virtuous roll token attached to another target creature I control, which is currently. Not possible. So uh, I'm just casting my commander, uh, and I would like to pass the turn over to Elliot. Alrighty. I will untap. I actually just realized, I think I was supposed to scry. I believe you were. But, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, I, you can deal with it. I milled a card already and stuff, it's fine. Call a judge. It's game loss. <laughs> I'll play another swamp. You know, uh, Jim made a, a little pun earlier about Night Vale, Sprite Vale. Um, so I've got that. Tell me there's a Sprite Veil Knight with a K. No. That would but, rule. But I've got Rankle, Master of Prankles. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, this time I'll remember to scry here. I will put that one on the bottom. I don't like that one very much. Yeah, I think I'm leaving my own commander as the scary death touch blocker. So I'll go to combat. So I will attack Bill for two with the Night Veil Sprite and Aaron for four. Sure. with Rankle, but I have two triggers now. So I'm going to Surveil one. 
I will put this Swamp in my graveyard, and then Rankle is actually a combat damage trigger, sorry. So combat I'm damage, 30 and 33. And now Rankle says I can choose any number. Each player discards a card, each player loses a life and draws a card, and each player sacrifices a creature. Sacrifices a creature would be pretty rude to my good friend Bill right now, because you kind of have some, some throwaway duders. So I won't choose that one. I am gonna say everybody lose a life and draw a card. And nobody has to discard, that's, that's okay. So I will then pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. Draw a card. Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna play this Rogue's Passage. I am going to move to combat mm -hmm. and uh, swing five in the air at Aaron. Mm -hmm. Post combat main. Mm -hmm. I will tap four to cast Nef Nesting Dovehawk. This is a 2-2 flyer. And at the beginning of my turn, beginning of combat on my turn, populate. Then whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under my control, I put a plus one plus one counter on this. Hmm. And okay. I pass. That's a good populator. <clears throat> it is. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna pay a lot of mana. I'll pay oh, six. God. Okay. It's a little bit. Everybody doing big stuff. I'm gonna cast a duplicant. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Are you eating? I'm gonna trigger my Brimaz incubate for six here. Yeah. And I think I'm going to eat your commander. Mm. Jim knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I, an I, idiot, I, Aaron. <laughs> 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 Move the combat attack for three. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah no marks. No marks. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to play a, a Rolling Wilds and I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. And remind me what uh, incubators do. You can pay two to basically turn them into creatures? Yes. Okay. So you currently can't. I currently cannot okay. do that. It's relevant. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to untap. Ooh, it's relevant. Remember that. That's derived from yeah, Don't write actually. that down. Don't actually uh, <laughs> remember that or write it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to play a Plains as my land for the turn. And I'm going to start um, going off, I suppose, as the kids say. Uh, I'm going to pay three. A3 like this, to play this Tangle Span Lookout. Uh, so whenever an aura enters the battlefield under my control, I draw a card. Then I would like to tap two to uh, put this Spectral Steel on Elevir of the Wild Court, which gives her plus two, plus two, and has some additional text that allows me to return uh, an aura or equipment from my graveyard to my hand if I pay two and exile it. But mostly, uh, it is giving her plus two, plus two. It is an aura and an enchantment that I cast, so I'd like to draw two cards. It's not bad. Then I would like to move to combat. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack in at Jim. No, I'm still gonna attack in at Aaron. He's too scary. So that's gonna trigger my Elevir, and I'm gonna create a, a virtuous roll token on my Tangle Span Lookout, which will also draw me a card from the Tangle Span Lookout. And then just for the people at home, this virtuous roll token that I just put on my Tangle Span Lookout uh, gives it plus one plus one for each enchantment I control. So it is currently getting plus three plus three. That's a lot. Wow. He's popping off. I'm gonna block with the Ranger. Absolutely. Sure. Under the bus. You Under got the it. bus. So I'm going to be moving to the end of my turn. I have eight cards in my hand now, so I do I actually have to... Trigger Burma as a second ability. What does that do? At the beginning of each end step, if a Phryxian died under my control this turn, proliferate. Oh. Uh -oh. I didn't know that. That's that's fine. I didn't know it did that, though. I'm going to discard this Loam Crafter Fawn at the end of my turn, and then I'm going to pass over to Elliot. Alrighty. I will untap. I will draw. I'm going to start things off with a Myriad Landscape for turn, and then I'm going to go to combat. This 4-4 four, four will attack Jim. This 2-3 will attack Jim. And <laughs> this... Let me, let me guess where that one's going. No, this 2-3 will attack Bill. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Surveil Trigger. Hmm. I will... Uh, nah, this Mind Stone can go. And then Combat Damage, 2 to Bill. Uh, six to Jim if you're not declaring any blocks. Uh, I'll block the Rankle. Okay. Uh, so two to Jim, two to Bill. And Rankle did not deal combat damage, so no mm. further effects. Mm. Second main, add a blue for this Fairy Seer. This is a cast trigger, so I'll scry one. I will put that one on the bottom. Then the Fairy Seer will ETB, and I'll scry two. card I just put on the bottom is so good with both of these. <laughs> we'll put those on the bottom and then on second cycle they'll be together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave these on top in this order and then that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, I'll untap. 
draw a card. I'm going to play Island 278. I'm going to tap seven lands and one creature to convoke in Kazla, oh. the Broken Halo. Ooh. Effects. You wouldn't dare. Oh my um, god. No, I, no. Is he mana draining? <laughs> yeah. No. I've got an arcane denial. Oh, oh my. Would you like god. two cards? My instead? career. <laughs> <laughs> look, this might look a little loose. But you need to know this is rooted in so many years of pain. <laughs> <laughs> he learned this, this from you. Yeah, this is for you specifically, Dad. <laughs> Look at me now, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's that? Uh, it's like, um, you can describe me as the monster in this story, but don't forget the chapter where you created me. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I'm 12 and this is deep. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay, well, I will sacrifice my Mulling Wilds before I go to my turn here. No way. Nah, that's optimal. <laughs> I'm just going to get this Plains off this Evolving Wilds and then proceed to my turn here. Mm. Yep. So you're passing to me? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Damn. Upkeep, draw two. <laughs> draw. I draw one. One. Oh, I'm the only one who didn't get to draw a card. Yeah. Man, this sucks. Embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to play a Plains and then play the card I drew for the turn, which is a Soul Ring. Oh my god. I was just about to comment on how you had so much mana. <laughs> well, I got even more now. Uh, and I can use this mana. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Bill's having a little too much fun over there. Uh, I'm gonna cast Angel of the Ruins, Whoa. which is gonna trigger my Brimaz for so two seven. Target artifacts or enchantments. Beep. No. A little bit of meta information Beep. for those of you at Beep. home that haven't been observing this entire filming weekend, like I am. Aaron has cast Angel of the Ruins more times than I've seen anybody cast any card. <laughs> and at all yeah. points, they're always really good against yeah, me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like if it, like, it goes to the graveyard, if it's coming back, that's the end of my whole career. Yeah. Uh, but this turn, it is Bill's career we're coming after. So we're gonna exile uh, Enchantress's Presence and the Virtuous Stone. Okay, so the Virtuous Token dies. Then it, is it just forever? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. All right, it sounds it good. Is, it is just Thought forever. it was temporary. Yeah, nope, no, not, not an Oblivion not Ring. Quite. This thing costs seven, brother. It does. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. It's open for me. Well, that's gonna incubate seven. Next, we're gonna fire up one of these incubators, actually. Uh, one of them, I have two of them that have seven, so it's okay. Yeah. All right, well, then we'll combat. Um, Elliot. What's hey, going on over there? Not, do, do, not do, much. Do, oh my god, it. everybody? <laughs> yeah. Well, the whole time. The bus. Yeah, attacking you for uh, 12. Okay, I'm going to get this Pharisee <laughs> under the 7-7 uh, seven, seven yeah, real quick. Guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, take five. Take five, and I lose a life and draw a card. Um, I'm going to try to help you out. From the, uh, my commander as well. So, so you have a 34, then 33. Yes, mm -hmm. and I draw a card. Thanks, oh, pal. pass the turn. Thanks for the assist. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to untap. Some stuff. Uh, then I'm gonna draw a card. I'd like to play this command tower as my line for the turn. Mm -hmm. uh, move to combat and attack Elliot for six. Nice. Uh, make a uh, virtuous roll on this Tangle Span Lookout again and draw a card. Are you attacking with the Tangle Span Lookout as well? I am not. Okay. He's staying back. Uh, I'm taking six. Okay. 27? 27 myself. Then I would like to tap five uh, and cast a Winds of Wrath to destroy all creatures that aren't enchanted. Oh, that's far uh, away. And they oh. cannot be regenerated, by the way. That's all creatures except for yours. Yes. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I also have nothing. My commander should see my others yes. die, right? Accurate. So I will lose two additional and draw two additional. 25. And then with that, uh, I have passed the turn. Alrighty. Uh, I will untap. Uh, draw for my turn. Okay, we got there. Uh, I drew like five cards and I surveilled and scried a bunch and this was the first land I saw. <laughs> well, you got a land though. Yeah. We're getting there. That's the wrapped information. Okay. That's right. How many cards you got? Yeah. A million, approximately. Eight? Okay, well, eight of them are not lands. <laughs> is, this, is this good for you? <laughs> it's, really, it's really working for me. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to pass the turn, I think. Okay. Uh, so moving to discard Reflections of Litiara down. Ooh. You're just going to cast that? Seven. I'm not. Oh. oh, oh. Interesting. Huh. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> I'll untap. Draw card. I'm going to play this Prairie Stream, and I'm going to cast a card named Impact Tremors. Oh, That's a good card. I've died uh, to that card a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that card kills people. Uh, I'm just going to pass. There's not a lot going on. 
All my stuff costs 10. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card. Play a land. You casting that angel again? Uh, uh, friction rebirth. No. <sighs> Whoa. That's bad for me. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, sad for you. Your commander costs six now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what does yours cost again? It costs 10, Elliot. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'm going to get a 2 2 Frixie in here, and then I'll uh, use six mana to cast Permas. Yep. And then uh, that's it. Go ahead. Okay. This virtuous token is, is not yes. here anymore. Oh, so sad. Relevant. Draw a card. I will play this planes as my land for the turn. And then, you know what? Just because I can, and uh, people were talking about it previously, I'm um, going to play this Ox Drover. <laughs> oh, big fan of Ox Drover. Uh, so Ox Drover is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four with Vigilance. Uh, it cannot be blocked by Oxen. Oh. Uh, cannot be blocked by Oxton. Whenever Ox Drover enters the battlefield or attacks, target opponent creates a 2-4 white Ox creature token and you draw a card. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Oh, but it impacts it Tremors deck. and Convoke. Hit me with it. Yeah, definitely let's not with the Convoke Let's give it to Elliot. It's okay. You like me. No, I don't. <laughs> when did, where did you get that idea? <laughs> That's true. That's fair. Uh, I've chosen uh, to give it to myself. <laughs> It like has to be. He likes me. It you has you to heard be. it here first. It has to be Elliot. So I'm gonna draw a card. You you got it. Ooh, that's a card. Then I believe that is everything that I'm able to do with this turn. So I will pass to okay. Elliot. Uh, I've got some effects in your end step. The first one is that I'm gonna sack this myriad landscape to search for two basics that share a land type and put them into play tapped. I'm going to get Island Island off of my myriad landscape. And then I would like to immediately betray Bill's trust or or friendship or whatever and flash in this quickling, uh, which is a 2-2 flyer no. uh, with flash. And it says, when it ETB, sack it unless I return another creature I control to its owner's hand. I would have oh, never done this to you. <laughs> um, I do actually have a cast trigger because I tapped the Path of Ancestry as well. So I'll scry one. I will leave that on top. What was your plan if you didn't get an ox? Not flash this in. <laughs> no, right. flash it in and return itself. <laughs> another. Oh, another. Yeah, it's no, one it's, of those. Yeah. Flash it in. Flash it in. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's, a, that's just d displaying dominance. Yes. <laughs> uh, untap. Draw for turn. My land for this turn shall be a secluded glen, and oh. I will reveal Una, Queen of the Fae, so that it ETBs untapped. Then I'm going to do this hopefully properly this time. I'm adding a mana with Path of Ancestry to cast my commander, which does share a creature type with my commander. So I scry one. You mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I think that's unintuitive. <laughs> we should tell Gavin Verhey about it. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm just going to complain on Twitter about it, actually. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put this card to the bottom. And then I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to betray Bill's trust further. <laughs> Well, he's at 27. Okay, Jim, three ya. Wow. 31. Uh, go ahead. Okay, I'll untap. Draw card. I would like to play Island 278. That's, <gasps> I didn't have a note on that one. <laughs> that was the original one. Oh my god. Oh, 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 you. Got it. <laughs> actually got Oh! <laughs> A hundred. <laughs> Could have used some oxen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, maybe, uh, maybe we can. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you gave it to Elliot and he yeah. betrayed your trust. That's true. I'm never doing that again. Good. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah. Pass. Wow. Last Christmas, I gave him an ox. Last the very next Christmas. day. <laughs> I quickly did away. <laughs> there you go. Draw a card. And his name is Keskit. The Flesh Sculptor. Oh, that guy. Yeah, so the cast them, I'm gonna incubate three. So he lets me, um, he's a one three that the tap sacrifice, three other artifacts and or creatures, look at the top three cards of my library, put two in my hand and one into the graveyard. I'm also gonna cast a completed Huntmaster, which is another three mana creature. It lets me incubate a four three again. These are getting yeah. out of hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So he's a two three, I can pay one, tap, sacrifice another creature. Or artifact, incubate three. Uh, one, two. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Three, four. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Filigree Vector. Or Filigree Vector. Oh, that card is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna put oh, incubate oh. four. So I guess as this creature is coming into play, I will transform one of my littler guys, I guess. That can attack. 
So when Phil Vector enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter on any on each of any number of target creatures and a charge counter on each of any number of target artifacts. Charge counters don't do any good with the incubators, mm. but it does put counters on the rest of the creatures I have. Okay, so when I get to counter, um, counter, 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 this goes to five, and this goes to three. Gemini. I'm gonna move to combat. You have a two, three death touch, eh? I do. All right, we'll send this five at you. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. need to decide whether I want to block that one. Okay, we'll send three at Jim. That's all that can attack from my board this turn. Okay. I'm not blocking. Okay. 28. Uh, I'll take five. I guess I no, have... No, sorry, this is going at a... Oh, at, at him? Oh, yeah. at me? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Uh, I have an effect that I'm trying to get some value out of, and it's, it's not getting much better because we're dying quickly here. I'm going to cast Keep Watch. Sure. To draw a Ooh. card for each attacking creature, so Ooh. just two. Mm -hmm. It's just an instant speed divination. Uh, and I'm not going to block. So, so five at Elliot, three at Jim. And 28. Okay, that's that, yeah, that's all. That's all we got. Oh, oh, that's, oh it? that's it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> well, like I said, it's. I think it's time for Ox Drover's time to shine. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out here. So I'm going to be untapping and drawing a card. I'm going to play this Forest as my land for the turn. I'm going to tap uh, two mana. The command tower is going to tap for a white, and I'm going to play this Transcendent Envoy. Uh, it's a 1-2 with flying, and aura spells I cast cost one co one colorless less to cast, which will then very much help me by allowing me to pay three to cast this Bear Umbra on this Ox Drover. Ox Bear! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, then I would also like to follow that up for two uh, to slap on this Daybreak Corn. <laughs> Oh, so, so it's huge. It's now a 9-9 with uh, First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink, and <sighs> Vigilance again. <laughs> and uh, when it attacks, it untaps all my lands. So I would like to attempt to move to combat. Wow. How much am I going to attack for? Uh, I'm attacking Aaron for 9 with sure. uh, First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, and First Trigger strike, untap my lands. Oh, yep. It's yeah. on attack? It's yep. on attack. Whoa. So on, yep. uh, that part can happen. Um, and then the Ox Drover is going to trigger I'm I'm giving it to Jim this Everybody time. Takes Everybody takes one. Take I have to. Elliot, you betrayed me. <laughs> I will not block. Okie dokie. Okay, wow. so I'll gain nine. Yeah. Aaron to seventeen. Uh, Aaron to seventeen. Bill to thirty-five. Five. I have yeah. myself at. Then uh, I'm gonna play this liberated livestock. Oh. In my second main phase. More ox cards. So, <laughs> oh, I didn't draw a card off of the ox drover. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. So I do have to do that. Apologies for missing that. But uh, Liberated Livestock is a 6 mana 4 6 cat bird ox. And when it dies, create a 1 1 cat with lifelink, a 1 1 bird with flying, and a 2 4 white ox. For each of those tokens, I may put an aura card from my hand and or graveyard on the uh, onto the battlefield attached to it. Oh, yeah. So, not wow. bad. Yeah. Then I would like to pass the turns. Cat bird ox coil <laughs> engine. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to Elliot. Okay. Uh, untap. I suddenly. I feel very behind compared to these two. <laughs> yeah, join the club. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw for my turn. I gave you an ox. Yeah. Please respond. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I have got a basic swamp as a land for turn. I'll tap a swamp for a Wayfarer's Bobble. I'm gonna bank on Aaron wanting Bill to die, and I'm gonna go to combat. Mm. I'm gonna attack Bill for Five. Three, three, and a two, three death touch, both flying. Yeah, I'll take five. Okay, build a 30. Pass the turn. Okay, I will draw a card. I'm gonna play Island 278. That's a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> illustrated by Sam Burley. <laughs> That's insane. Shout, out to, shout out to Sam Burley. <laughs> 278 ounce? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's been drawing only Island 278. <laughs> and I'm gonna pay 10. Cast, Kazla. Trigger, <laughs> impact tremors. Everybody take one. Combat. Well, Should I just betray Bill? I mean, anything got flying? Uh, this is one, You're not blocking on that. Hey, You're if you give ox. me an ox, I will also betray you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. This you know, ox is no friend. You know what they say? Give a man an ox. <laughs> <laughs> one time deal, you give me an ox, I will also betray you. <laughs> it's like a trade request. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ox for betrayal. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna move to combat. You got any flyers? I don't. Aaron. Frixian's not only don't air. fly. Mm. Uh, go to 11. Wow, Aaron to 11. 10 mm. Kazla damage. Tough. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass. Looking to draw a good one. Kind of hellbent over here. Okay, that's good for us. Okay. Except for the Remember fact that you can just pump 8 mana to I, make. I can activate power. a lot of things. 
What is this? I'm happy. Do? Get ox. <laughs> Get ox. Get ox. Pass, pass me the ox. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Pass me the ox this time. <laughs> I want to pay three mana for a bloodline pretender. It's, just, it's a changeling, and then when it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever another creature of the chosen type enters the battlefield of my control, it gets a plus one plus one counter. But it's notably oh. a Frixian when I cast it because of changeling. Mm -hmm. Beep. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, this much mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everything but the one that came yeah. into play. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Well, it's getting late. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pretty tired. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. Jim at 28, Bill at 29. You know, me and you. <laughs> Sorry, what are you? 18. <laughs> Chill. Well, you, I assume you have something going on, but you're like, oh, I think I'm gonna kill He's Bill. He's gonna, He's gonna the engulf record. the shores or something. Whoa. Like that. Yeah. Well, that will cost me my entire fortune that I <laughs> built my whole life to create. <laughs> I sold 401. <laughs> I sold my hair to buy you this comb. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> funny. Uh, okay, well, I have to send... This guy's huge, right? He's a 9-9 nine -nine with first Yeah, strike. like, what the heck is this? Yeah. How do first I deal strike, with that? Vigilance lifelink, right? I just with don't deal with that. And this is a 4-6 that I would love to die, thank you. Yeah. You know what, I'm just not going to think about it too much. Uh, attack build everything. Ooh. Right. Oh. Uh, beep, you're beep. not attacking. Oh. Uh, you can go ahead and attack. Okay. You also so, cannot attack. The only things... Attack, attack you with these guys, no brews. Yeah, well then I guess it makes the most sense, if that's the case, to just block the yeah. biggest guy here. Because you're going to sack whatever I block that with anyway. It's a good yeah. It is still a lot of damage. I think I'm still going to... I'm going to block this with this Transcendent <clears throat> Envoy, and then probably block this Phyrexian sure. with this Livestock. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, so it's, it's three, 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 yeah, and three, 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 four. So three, six, nine, damage. twelve. Sure. Yep. Right now. So before damage, I will sacrifice the pretender to proliferate. Okay. Sounds good. So you just don't mind me. This might take a couple days. Uh, <laughs> so this is this. now 16 it's damage? It's up to 16 damage. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is changing currently. Nothing Everything that changing. was dying is still dying, I think, and stuff like that. Yeah. He's probably going to sacrifice. Yes. Uh, yeah. And you then have to sacrifice two things. Um, three. Three things. Yeah. Okay. And then again, still four damage. Tap yeah. the casket to sacrifice this one, uh, the incubator, and I think just my hedron archive. Uh, arcane signet. Oh, sorry, arcane signet. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Sack the um, incubator, Frixian, arcane signet to casket, so I get to look at the top three cards in my library, put two in my hand, and one to my graveyard. Uh, one, two, three. Swamp in the graveyard. That's uh, 279. <laughs> 12, 12, 279, and then I have no more effects before damage. Okay. So you have uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 16. Yeah. not gaining any life. Yeah, so yeah. I go to 13. Bill goes to 13. Bill goes to 13, and um, this dude this di this dies, guy does, but yeah. that's the only thing, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I think that's all I have for my turn. So I will go to the end of my turn, which will trigger Brimaz, because if Frixian died this turn, and I will proliferate. Yep. Holy three, smokes. Three, five. We gotta kill Aaron. Nah, it's like problem. <laughs> He's at 11, okay. right? I, I, am, I am very on death's door here. Yeah. He's I mean, 11. yeah. <laughs> I have a Brimaz to block currently. Uh, where is the, this one? What the? I got bamboozled over there. <laughs> okay. I have Brimaz okay. to block. Go ahead. Okay. I'll untap. Holy And smokes. I will draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna play Forest. As my land for the turn. I'm gonna play this Archon of Sun's Grace. Oh, that card's good. Uh, so it's flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures I control have lifelink. And whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, uh, create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. Mm -hmm. Pre combat, I'm going to cast this Indomitable Might on the Ox Drover. Uh, so it gets plus three, plus three, and it can assign damage as though it weren't blocked. Ooh. Um, so it is currently a 12 12, <laughs> and I create a Pegasus. That's one more than Aaron's life total. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's, um, you know, uh, you can get Elliot to uh, six. Uh, <laughs> you, you can get yourself to one. I would like to move to combat. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I will send this Ox Drover at 
Aaron. Oh, do I get the ox though? You, you. I'm going to give you the ox. Sick. Uh, it cannot That's block funny. the ox drover. It cannot block <laughs> right. the ox and drover. Let the record and I'm show. Also, going to untap all of my lands. Let the record show. If I got another turn, I would for sure betray you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. Though at this point, I don't know if it's betrayal. I had some pretty forward aggression last yeah. turn. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh -huh. uh, I will move the block. Not yes. that it does me any good, but yes. I will block with Brita's Light of Arescos. Okay. Would you like to? How would you like to assign damage? I would like to assign damage as though it weren't blocked. Yeah, uh, how much damage is that? Uh, 12. It's ah, 12. cool. Go to negative like to gain, 1. I would like to gain 12 and go to 25. Then, I think I'm going to make life even more difficult for people and kind of re-gas myself. I'm going to pay 4 for the Sage's Reverie on this oh, Archon of Sun's so Grace. Uh, so that's going to create a Pegasus, uh -huh. um, which I now have uh, two. 2. I'm going to draw a card for each aura I control that's attached to a creature, which is currently 4. And then this gets plus 1, plus 1 for each aura I control that's attached to a creature. So this is now a 7-8. Flyer. Holy smokes. And you draw up And I draw four cards. Someone's gotta kill Bill. Wow. Three, four. It's like practically a Yu Gi Oh card. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. It, um, do you know why? Because it makes a million Pegasus. Well, that's all the time we have, <laughs> folks. With that being said, I think that does it for my turn, unless there's anything else I can play. I've played a land, I've done all that. Yeah, I'll pass over to Elliot. Okay, I've got some effects in your end step. Indeed you do. Uh, the first one will be sacrificing this Wayfarer's Bobble to search my library for a basic, put it in the battlefield, tapped. I'm gonna get this basic island, and then I'm also in your end step going to cast Fact or fiction? In the end step. I haven't uh, resolved it. <laughs> yeah, he's a I mean, professional. I don't make the rules. It's end step. <laughs> yeah. Fact or fiction, I think you, you lose. You FOFGG. You lose. Oh, yeah, no, it's YL. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have Jim. Uh, you know, you haven't gotten to participate much, so you will be my opponent to choose. Yep. The five that I'm revealing are Brazen Ooh. Borrower, Ooh. Fairy Formation, <laughs> Tegwill's Scouring Island Dimir Aqueduct. My ox drover. <laughs> Non-land permanent. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go Tegwill's Scouring. You can have the Brazen Borrower with these ones together, and the Fairy Formation you can have with the Brazen Borrower. Ooh. These are my piles. Ooh. Make your choice. Ooh. Wow. Live or die. It will not be the two pile. Ugh. Yeah, I, I am taking the three pile. Still in Bill's end step. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Run Away together. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna choose target creature and target creature controlled by different players and return them to their owner's hands. This is all in Bill's end step? Yes. This is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I play a lot of Ox. instants. Yeah. Ox Grover goes away. Ox down. Um, Bear Umbra, Daybreak Coronet, and Indomitable. Do you lose the Ox down? Then I'll go to untap here. Upkeep, draw a card. First things first, uh, I'm going to do something a little loose, uh, but I'm going to do this in my main phase because I've got I've got some plans for my all. I think all of my mana eventually. Mm -hmm. I'd like to put this brazen borrower on an adventure by casting petty theft, okay. returning target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Okay, killing the sage's reverie is my plan here, really, and then this will be ad adventuring. Then I'm going to play this Dimmer Aqueduct as my land for turn, return this island. I have seven cards in my hand. I'm going to go to combat. Oh my god, you're both at so much life. Uh, attack Bill. Oh, you've got Pegasus. I've got two flyers. Two, two twos. Yes. Mm. Attack Jim for five. <laughs> yeah, no blocks. 23. And I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap. Draw a card. I'll play this Exotic Orchard. I'm going to tap six to cast Kazla. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Impact Tremors. That's the cheapest you've cast that card in a long time. It is. <laughs> 17, 24? Yes. Uh, negative two. 17, yeah, Aaron's a negative two. Yeah. <laughs> 17, 24. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to move to combat mm -hmm. and swing Kazla at Bill. True. Not like that. How much Kazla 19, 10, 10 Kazla. Yeah. And I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Let's, uh, let's untap. Let's draw a card. I'm very excited to be able to bring this to y'all today. I'm going to play this land for turn. Then I think what I'm going to do, instead of playing either of the cards that just got bounced back in my hand, I'm going to uh, pay four to cast this retether. <laughs> uh, return each aura from my graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. Uh, only aura, only creatures can be enchanted this way. So I'm going to start with this spectral steel. Then uh, let's say this indomitable knight, this bear umbra. Can I return daybreak coronet? If multiple auras are in the battlefield at the same time, you choose which player permanent they. 
Each chance before each of them enter the battlefield. This means every coordinate can't be put on the battlefield. Uh, you make okay. a choice before. Yep, okay, yep, yep, yep. sure. That's fine. That makes sense. Okay. So I can't bring this daybreak coordinate back, unfortunately, because all of them enter at the same time. Uh, but I will be able to get the Sage's Reverie as well. Uh, so that'll be Spectral Shield, Indomitable Knight, Bear Umbra, and Sage's Reverie, uh, which will be four cards that are attached to a creature. Uh, um, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this ETBs and triggers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens if he has no auras attached to a creature when the trigger resolves? It checks on resolution. Okay. Because there's no intervening if. I have a response. You're bouncing. I would like to return all non-token creatures to their owner's hands. I'm going to respond. It's not going to stop it. Oh. I'm going to tap a planes and tap Kazla to convoke ephemeral shields. This is going to give Kazla indestructible until end of turn, but it's going to let me scry two and draw a card. Mm. Seems good. Mm -hmm. So I will scry two. I'll put them both on the bottom, draw a card, and uh, that's all I got. Alrighty, non-token creatures, so both of mine. One from me. All these are going back over here. Then I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to replay this Ox Drover. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. He needs, yeah. he needs his, uh, his time back in the sun. Uh, and then I'm also going to play this Paradise Druid. Uh, this is on ETB as well. Oh, it is on ETB. Yeah. Um, Jim, here you go. I will happily draw. have an And I draw a card. And you and I lose a life. Me 16, Jesus. Bill 18? Yes. Then I'll pass the turn. Alrighty, end of Bill's turn. Woo! Oh. Yeah, I will flash him in uh, with the Path of Ancestry, so I will scry one. Okay. I will put that on the bottom. I will untap. And I will draw for turn. I will play another island as the land for turn. Uh, and then I gotta start playing some of these dumb little fairies back out. So I've got three. For Tegwill, uh, scry one off of the Path of Ancestry. Leave that on top. Four for Alila, Cunning Conqueror. Flying whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, make a 1-1 one, one Black Fairy Rogue creature token with flying. And whenever one or more fairies I control deal combat damage to a player, goad target creature that player controls. Okay. And then I'm going to do a... Uh, a, a rude maneuver. Uh, that, uh, I think that's what the people in the business call it. I've got one, two, three for this Halo Forager. When it ETBs, I'm going to pay X. When I do, I may cast target instant or sorcery card with mana value X from a graveyard without paying its mana cost. If it would be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. So I will pay two for this Runaway Together. Uh, getting rid of an Ox and the Drover, Drover again, I think. Sure. <laughs> okay. Then I'll go to combat. Yep. I'm going to attack Jim with this 4-2 Brazen Borrower. 19. Mm -hmm. And that will trigger the Alila to goad this Ox. Sure. <laughs> so it must attack and it can't attack me. Okay. Five cards in my hand, I will pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to untap. I will draw a card. I'm going to play a Plains. I'm going to tap six and cast Kazla. Impact uh, Tremors. Impact Tremors. 15 for me. 17, 17 for, for Bill. Bill. I'm going to pay three for this Cultivator's Caravan. Does not trigger Impact Tremors because it's not a creature. I'm going to move to combat. Uh, I have my Death Toucher. Yeah, and, I know. But that uh, might not be stopping you. Rude dude. Bill? I'll throw a Pegasus under the bus. Oh yeah, the I also have to attack. attack. I also have to attack. <laughs> I'll take two from the Ox. 15. Uh, 15 for Bill. And I'll pass. I will untap my stacks of lands and draw. Let's play this. This does the thing I wanted to do, right? Canopy Vista enters the battlefield tapped unless I control two or more basic lands. Hey. I have many more than that. I'm going to immediately use a plains and a forest to cast this Tithe Taker. Spells and abilities cost one more to cast uh, for you guys on my turn, Elliot. Um, <laughs> a little late, but <laughs> yeah. tapped out. I don't think he's yeah, doing I, I respect turn. the hustle. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play this Archons of Sun, Archon of Sun's Grace back out. Mm -hmm. Then. Let's just play out this Ox Drover again. <laughs> He's back. Uh, who gets the token? Uh, Jim. Dang it. <laughs> Happily. Uh, Impact Tremors. I Both of us have 14. One because Elliot, you betrayed me. Every time, yeah. yeah. That's, I think, what's happened. I guess I'll also um, I'll tap this Paradise Druid and this Command Tower to play out this Sylvan Ranger uh, to look for a basic land, put it in my hand, and then shuffle. I'm going to find this basic forest and put it in my hand. Seems good. And I'd like to pass the turn over to Elliot. Alrighty, untap. Uh, let's see what other rude things I can do on my turn, shall we? Draw for turn. I'm gonna cast 
a Scion of Una, uh, which gives other fairy creatures I control plus one plus one and Shroud. It also has Flash, but be cool. Sure. Uh, and I'm going to scry one for this Path of Ancestry. This thing has done insane amounts of work. <laughs> I'll put this on the bottom, and then I'm going to cast oh, this for is so much seven fun. mana. Shadow Puppeteers. What? Who? This is a new card. I'm uh, fairly certain. <laughs> so this is a seven mana four four with flying and ward two. When it ETBs, I'm going to make two one one black fairy rogue creature tokens with flying. Uh huh. Whenever a creature I control with flying attacks, I may have it become a dragon with base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, in addition to its other colors and types until end of turn. Excuse me? Jim, I would like to move to combat. Uh-huh. Jim, I would like to attack you with four 6-6 six, six fairy dragons. Uh-huh. But they're just shadows though, right? No. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six 4-4s? Four, four? Uh, four. Six... No, four, four six, 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 six. Four, six, six. Because six, of the Scion and my Teg Will. I will block one of them. And <laughs> go to one. Go to one. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to the command zone. Alrighty. I will pass the turn. Yeah. <laughs> On tap. Are stuff goaded? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess all other things are goaded. Whenever one or more oh, only one. go target. Yes. Mm. So one of your oxen okay. is goaded. Cool. Mm. Which one? <laughs> This one. Oh, okay, What's good. the collector number? <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw a card. I'll play this planes. Man, I don't even know what I got going on here. I'm gonna play Ren's Resolve. Exile the top two until the end of turn. Next turn I can play them. That's uh, Shadow the Source and Iker Elixir. Iker Elixir? All your stuff has Shroud though, right? Yes. Well, uh, other? Yeah, yeah other, other fairies yeah, I control have Scion does not. Yeah. The Puppeteers has Shroud and Ward too, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> I'm going to cast the Iker Elixir, and uh, I guess I have to move to combat? Yeah, unless I crew would. my Cultivator's Caravan? <laughs> oh, oh, you can! Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, Bill, Ox coming at you. Um, I'll block with a dro with my Drover. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, <gasps> Ox down. <laughs> I, I brought you into this world. <laughs> I can take you out of it. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay, I'm gonna untap. Draw once I've untapped all these lands. Elliot. Yes, friend. I don't like you. Yeah. Never have. And never will. I'm gonna do something. It's gonna seem suspicious, but uh, be cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Liberated livestock. Then I'm going to cast off with this Realm Cloak Giant to destroy all nine giant creatures. I have uh, no response, unfortunately. Yeah. Excellent. So my liberated livestock is gonna die and make three tokens, which are each going to get back one of my auras. Yeah. I guess, ooh. This is tough for me, actually. My Tegwill sees two tokens, three, four, five, six, seven creatures dying. Ooh. So I go to seven, and I draw seven cards. <laughs> so from Liberated Livestock dying, I'm going to get a 2-4 Ox, a 1-1 Bird with Flying, and a 1-1 Cat with Lifelink. We don't have the Cat token, but it's we do have this ring. basically a Cat. Basically a Cat. <laughs> I'm going to put the uh, Indomitable Might on the Rabbit, the Bear Umbra on the Bird, and then the Sage's Reverie on the Ox, which will then draw me three cards. Uh, and then, because none of these have haste, I would like to pass the turn to Elliot. Alrighty. I'll untap. I will draw a card for my turn. I will play a choked estuary, revealing uh, swamp collector number 271. <laughs> uh, and I will tap my Demir Aqueduct for a Felwar Stone. I will move to discard, and I'll discard Swamp, Swamp, Spell Stutter. Ooh, was, okay. that, was that Swamp uh, 271? <laughs> it was, both of them. I'll uh, write that down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will untap. I'll draw a card. I'm going to tap 8 to cast Flight of Equinox. Flight of Equinox? Uh, impact Tremors. Impact Tremors, everybody take one. Uh, 13. I go to 6, uh, Bill goes to 13. <clears throat> I will pass. Okay, untap. Oh yeah, this is gone forever now. Okay, draw. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to attack Jim with this rabbit. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, and then Elliot with the um, bird and the Sage's Reverie uh, ox, which this is a 5-6, uh, and this is a 3-3. Three, three. Trigger bear umbra. And I have uh, trigger on my bear umbra. Should have played something, but didn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have no blockers. I will block with the Equinauts. I will choose to assign damage sure. as well. <laughs> How much damage? Uh, four. 
I just wanted this liberated livestock to have its time in the sun. It got bounced three times. Yeah, yeah. tell me about that, Bill. <laughs> I, I didn't deal with your guy at all. <laughs> yeah, no, this deck is like very controlling. Uh, but like it didn't have too much to do in the way of killing. Well, except that, that you should have felt one turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that dragon yeah. thing is wild. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're going wide with fairies, like Whoa. And it's in addition, so like this still buffs them. The scion yeah. buffed them. Like, yeah, it, it was crazy because it sets base instead of giving them a plus. plus. Uh, yeah, oof, yeah. It sets base and in addition to still being fairies. <laughs> yeah, and it's got ward two. It costs a lot. It costs seven. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Hey, you know what it kind of reminds me of is the workshop elders, the one that yeah. uh, makes your artifacts flyers and Throne of four fours. Yeah, that's Ooh. a cool card. Oh, just like arcane signet was first from Throne, Throne of Old Drain. Drain. <laughs> I guess it was. Hey. It was. I never really they, thought about that. Wow. I was Brawl, <laughs> great format. <laughs> yeah. True. This Brimaz deck, I've seen you play it a few times now, and it just yeah. pops off all the time. It's sweet. I, I like Brimaz a lot. Uh, a friend of mine plays it, and I'll never tell him to his face that I like his deck, but, it, but I like it a lot. <laughs> um, it lets you kind of overcommit your hand, because uh, you're not too worried about Wrath, because yeah, Brimaz will die, but you just yeah. like, you only have to flip over the incubators when you yeah. need to. Well, right, I had this uh, reflection, or no, the perplexing test or whatever yeah. in my hand, and like, yeah. The return all token creatures looked really good, except for the fact that none of your incubators were creatures yeah. until the turn that you like attempted to kill Bill mm -hmm. or whatever. Right? Yeah, like, and like oh, nice. when I cast that first wrath, I was like, okay, cool, we're gonna be like free from Aaron's stuff for a while. But you JK. only had like yeah, you had like four <laughs> that were still sticking around. So. That's a lot like what it's like playing vehicles. Is mm -hmm. like half yeah. of your creatures are creatures and the other half are not on <clears throat> other people's yeah. turns. And sorcery speed, everything just feels bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well. That was a really cool one. Uh, I think we're yeah. probably going to play one more, maybe one more, maybe uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But uh, I, before we go, I want to really thank uh, Wizards of the Coast for sending us these cool mm -hmm. uh, Wilds of Eldrain commander decks. Um, I think you got a pretty good look at them today. Yeah, they both mm -hmm. did what they wanted to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, this was our MTG ambassador. Uh, you know, go at it with these uh, brand new decks before they're even released to the public, mm -hmm. which is super, super cool. If you want to help us out and you're looking to buy these decks, go check out the link in the show notes. And uh, yeah, that'll be helping us out. That'll show Watsi that you like our content. So um, I think that's about it. And we'll uh, catch you next time.